came across these sustainable development goals. Somebody was telling me about it with uh, the 17 goals that they're going to try to implement, have them all going, you know, working in concert by 2030. I look at them, I wonder how it's going to happen. No poverty, zero hunger, good health and well-being, quality education, gender equality, clean water and sanitation. Now this is for everybody. You understand what I mean? Uh, in the world where they say it's too many people. Affordable and clean energy. Decent work and economic growth. Industry, innovation, and infrastructure. Reduce inequalities. Sustainable cities and communities. Responsible consumption and production. I want to make some other videos about these each goal and try to figure out what's the other side of it. You know what I mean? Climate action. Life below water. Life on land. Peace, justice, and strong institutions. Partnerships for the goals. Yeah. How could they pull all this off? So I want to try to go over the pros and cons. Because then I came across all this stuff these people are talking about 2050. So you can hit hashtag 2050. In 2050, you won't have a body and you'll be happy. So, I'm, you know, this stuff's interesting me. I'm like, how the hell do they know that? Tracy follows at Tracy Future says by 2050 there'll be no word happy. Hmm. In 2050 you'll rent your mind for Amazon help and it will be 7G into your brain in the jar. On demand from servers on, on Mars, Adams Premium Anal Swabs Incorporation would be the East India company of its generation with its own robot army with red dot eyes and you'll be happy. Trolling. You'll be a machine with self repairs. But you're tearing them on now because you romanticize with a smile. We're already a machine that knows how to self repair. Unless there's a problem, we need outside help. Okay. The World Economic Forum's 2050 carbon footprint target for deplorables is zero. Well, you know, you got the haves and haves nots. For you have nots, there's nothing. You need to get you a new credit card that tracks your carbon emissions. Your farts, your burps, and all that type of shit. And they said something about cows farting too much and then came across crypto for lunch. Check out Cyber Polygon. So I go over there and check that out. And I'm going to do some more research on it, but it's... It's an annual online event which connects various global organizations to train their competencies, exchange best practices, and begin tangible results to the world community. I'm in the world community. Why y'all ain't telling me about the shit? World Economic Forum supports Cyber Polygon. Of course you do. Of course you do. I think they kind of fucked this up, but funny how they want to man create preserving one's soul. By 2050, I won't have to worry about my body wearing out or being a brain in a robotic body. Doubt the lower classes can afford such luxuries, right? This is actually accurate to see transhumanism and the fourth industrial revolution. This is a stated goal. So I had to go check that shit out too. What is that? That's something else to look up. By 2022, 133 million new jobs could be created by the fourth industrial revolution. The most important skill to acquire is to be able to learn in this dumbed down ass shit. Okay, now check this out. United States. Automation could eliminate 73 million jobs by 2030. And hell, right now, the people eliminating some jobs right now because the motherfucker don't even want to go to work. And I understand. Yeah, man, so let's look this up. 